Recently, according to a recent study published in the journal Nature Astronomy, a team of astronomers has found evidence that there are two exoplanets with water-type worlds orbiting a red dwarf star named Kepler-138 system, and each planet is referred to as a world. This water is named Kepler-138c and Kepler-138d. This exoplanet or water world found is located in a planetary system that is about 218 light-years away in the constellation Lyra. The discovery of these two planets in the Kepler-138 system is not new because astronomers have discovered this system for a long time. It is known according to early observations in the system. Kepler-138 is known to contain three planets including the water world, but for this initial discussion, I will first discuss the water world in the Kepler-138 system. In this discovery, astronomers observed the two exoplanets of the Kepler-138 system using the Hubble Space Telescope and the Spitzer Telescope. From that observation, the team of astronomers later found that two exoplanets are about one and a half times the size of Earth and are mostly made up of water. Apart from that, in this observation, astronomers also know that the two planets found are orbiting their star quite closely. Then even though the water content there was not detected directly, but by comparing the size and mass of the planet astronomers could conclude that most of its volume should be made of a material lighter than rock but heavier than hydrogen or helium so the most common material candidates in concluding the discovery the plane was water. Discoveries like this are new in exoplanet research because previously a planet that was slightly larger than Earth or an enlarged version of Earth was usually classified as a super-Earth type. But for now, according to the previous observations, it has shown that the two planets found earlier most of their entire volume is most likely composed of water so you could say this is the first time that astronomers have been able to observe a planet that can be identified with certainty as a water world. Then with a volume of more than three times the Earth's and a mass two times greater the two planets found in the Kepler-138 star system are estimated to have a much lower density than the Earth. Studied in detail, and everything looks like a rocky world like Earth. So the closest comparison to the two planets could be compared to some of the icy moons in our solar system, which also consist mostly of water surrounding a rocky core. But by knowing the state of a planet that is closer to its parent star, the two planets orbiting Kepler-138 will certainly not have an icy surface. But with these circumstances, the two planets will accommodate a very, very large shroud of water vapor. Even though it is a water world, likely, the two planets will not have oceans like those on Earth or directly on the planet's surface. Under such conditions, according to astronomers, liquid water with high pressure or even water in another phase that occurs at high pressure, which is referred to as a supercritical fluid, will only be under an atmosphere of water vapor. Well, it's really interesting and scary at the same time. This discovery is indeed interesting, especially since this kind of water world can be said to be a new thing in exoplanet research. Now, let's talk about the Kepler-138 system as a whole. A small planet with the mass of Mars and also one of the smallest exoplanets known to date. In addition, in the Kepler-138 star system, it is estimated that there are still hidden planets. While previous Kepler telescope observations only showed the transit of three small planets around Kepler-138 team, other astronomers were surprised because observations using the Hubble and Spitzer telescopes showed that there was a fourth planet in the system namely Kepler-138. This new planet or Kepler-138 electron ounces is small and farther from its star than the previous three planets. Tanya is thought to be an alien world with a temperate climate where a planet receives just the right amount of heat from its cold star to not be too hot or too cold to allow liquid water to exist on its surface. So you could say that apart from finding the water world planet earlier, Astronomers also found a planet whose conditions are perfect for life to develop. For now, 
future observations are still very much needed to be able to find more detailed information on the four planets that have been found in the Kepler-138 star system. Future observations are needed because if this kind of discovery can be confirmed with certainty, then astronomers can start to find more water worlds like in the Kepler-138 system